Good morning. Yes, I'm coming at you with just woke up hair and still in pajamas. But I wanted to do this video right now while I'm thinking about it. Because if I don't do it, it's going to be one of those videos that gets stuck in my head and never comes out again. Last night, I was watching an episode of CLT. And on the episode, one of the members had had to have their lower their leg from the knee down amputated. Very devastating, of course, to lose a limb. And he was a soldier. So it was a big thing, right? And on the episode, he was learning to use his prosthetic that he had. And he was just damn determined that he was going to stand up. He was going to stand up for a minute. And he was determined. And they showed him just standing in his bedroom repeatedly, letting go of his walker and standing there. And he'd fall and he'd get back up and he'd fall and he'd get back up and he'd fall. And he just kept doing it for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours until he stood. And that's exactly what people who have prosthetic teeth have to do. They're prosthetics. I know that society makes it seem like dentures are no big deal. Just They're just false teeth. Just pop them in and go. We all know that's not true. We don't just pop them in and go. We have to learn the weight of the dentures. We have to get adjusted to these bulky things that are in our mouths. We have to relearn to form words and we have to relearn how to taste food, to, to talk, to taste food, to smile. Just, we have to relearn a bunch of stuff and we have to adjust to these prosthetics, just like people who have a prosthetic limb. But it's so minimized by society, false teeth. It's just so minimized that people don't realize what a challenge it is to have dentures. If you don't use your dentures, if you just say, you know what, it's easier to eat without my dentures and I'm just going to set them down and I'm going to eat. How are you ever going to learn how to use them? I'm not talking about people who are in extreme pain. If, you're, if your dentures need adjusting and they're digging into your, your mouth, then yes, take them out and then go to the dentist and get them adjusted. I'm not talking about people who are dealing with extreme pain. Obviously, if you are dealing with extreme pain, do not wear your dentures and get them fixed. And I say this as somebody who did exactly that. I wore my dentures even though I was in extreme pain. Last year when I got my new dentures, my dentist told me, under no circumstances are you to put your old dentures in and do not do anything without these dentures in. Me, I'm like one of those people, if you tell me not to do something because it's if I do anything, I'm going to hurt my progress, I listen. Sometimes too well. I had a spot right here that dug deep. I mean, like, right. It, it dug so deep that when I went in for adjustments, my dentist had my dentures out. And my dentist said, why were you wearing these? That must have hurt. I mean, I had, like, a wound. And I said, you told me not to. She said, well, I didn't mean to wear them if they were hurting you. I'm like, you know, you didn't quite specify that. You said wear them, I wore them. But it, obviously, if they're hurting you, don't wear them and go to your dentist and get adjustments. But if they're not hurting you, if it's just because they're bulky and they feel weird and you're just not getting them, wear them. You need to wear them. You need to get used to talking, smiling, eating, chewing, tasting. You need to just adjust to these prosthetics. You have to push yourself. And it's hard. It is freaking hard. They don't feel right. They feel weird when you first start wearing. I don't notice them anymore. I'll be honest. And I know that people say, okay, you got to be lying. You have to notice them. I don't. I don't. I use adhesive. And I don't use adhesive because I need adhesive. I can wear them just fine without it. These, anyway, not my first pair. But I can wear these just fine without adhesive. I have. And I've done videos that show what I can eat without adhesive. When I'm talking, you can't tell that I don't have adhesive on my dentures. I can wear them just fine. I like the extra security that adhesive gives me. Put my dentures in, and I go all day long, never think about my dentures. 
I don't feel them, they don't move. It was not always like this. Let's be clear. I struggled just like everyone else when I first got my dentures. It took me time to, to eat. Only a couple of weeks because I pushed myself. Uh, two and a half months after I got my dentures, it was my birthday and I went to Red Robin and I had a crispy chicken sandwich with fries and I ate it just like anybody else would have eaten it. I was pushing myself. I was that soldier on SEAL team, standing and up and standing and falling and standing and falling and standing and falling until I got it. That's what we got to do. We have to put them in and use them and use them and use them. We have to fall a few times while we're using them and use them some more and use them some more until you eat a chicken nugget, a taco, um, a piece of toast. That'll be your 60 seconds. It's not easy. This is not an easy journey and it mentally messes with your head. It does. It, 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 it's, it, you know, you, you take your teeth out, your dentures out, and you look in the mirror, and your, your darn 95-year-old granny's looking at you. It's hard, you know, and we still have all that mental crap that's in our head from when our teeth were failing us. You know, oh, my God, everybody's looking at us. Everybody knows we've got fake teeth. Nobody knows. Nobody cares. They really don't. We care. We know. But the people around us, they don't care what our teeth, if we have real teeth or no teeth. I mean, they care, they care, they care if we don't have teeth. That's wrong. If, they, if we don't have teeth, they, they mock us. If we have bad teeth, they mock us. But I promise, they don't care if we have dentures. They do not, are not looking at us going, oh, they have fake teeth. And if they are, so what? That's a them thing, not a us thing. We know that they're not real. We know. And so when we look in the mirror, we see an imposter because we know what we know what we look like before. So when we look in the mirror, we do not see ourselves. We see this other person because we've been living with ourselves for so long. The other self, the self with bad teeth. So don't we put pressure on ourselves? We do, and but society they don't care if we have fake teeth or veneers or if we had braces they don't know we know and we have to get out of that part of our head you know we have to get to get to know that stranger in the mirror that's looking back at us because it is it's a stranger it's a whole new face and we have to get used to that so it's it's mentally just you know when we're when we don't have our teeth in there's an old person looking at us when we do have our teeth in an imposter is looking at us. We feel like we sound funny, but the people around us, you sound fine. I mean, there are people who have their natural teeth. They have lisps. So if you have a lisp, maybe that's just you. Nobody's going to think, oh, wow, they have dentures. They have a lisp. Maybe you just have a lisp. And then they'd be a a-hole if they were judging you for having a lisp. Because they don't know if that's your lisp that you were born with or if it's a lisp from dentures and if it's a list from dentures well they educate people then tell them do you know how hard it is to adjust to prosthetic teeth they're prosthetics remind them that while society makes light of dentures that there's stuff that people who wear dentures have to learn so educate people on what goes into adjusting to dentures I've done that People around me had no idea what people with dentures go through. As a matter of fact, my husband, I had my first pair of dentures for 14 years, and I had to relearn a new pair of dentures last year. And my husband had no idea how challenging it was. You know, I went upstairs and did my denture routine. He had no clue until I started doing these video videos how much I put into time. Now he knows why it took me so long to do everything that I do. He never realized exactly what I was doing. I just when I said, I'm going to go do my teeth, and went upstairs and did it. Started doing these videos, started making him watch them. He didn't realize everything that went into it. It wasn't that he thought it was easy. He just never really thought about it. So 
you know, somebody tells you, oh, it must be super easy not to have teeth anymore. Tell them everything that you got to go through. I had a, I have a 14 year old nephew. He said, oh man, it must be so cool not to have teeth. It's really easy. You don't have to brush your teeth. I'm like, well, I have a 10 minute routine when I take my dentures out and then I have to put, soak my dentures and do all this. And then right before I put it back in, it's five minutes. And then during the day I do all of this. He's like, oh, maybe it's not that easy. So, I mean, I do these videos to normalize wearing dentures. I do these videos to educate. I do these vid videos to help people who are new on this journey. And it is a journey. It is not easy, but it's not impossible. Wear your dentures, unless they are causing you extreme pain. But if it's just because they feel weird, wear them. Eat with them. You are not going to learn how to use them if you're not using them. So, you know, be that soldier. I know it was just a TV show, but that's how people are in real life. You know, people who are amputees do push themselves. How else are they going to get back to their normal? How else are they going to walk again without a walker? They have to stand up and fall down, stand up and fall down. And we have to do that too with our prosthetic teeth. Put them in and fall down. So put them in and not be able to chew. Put them in and not be able to chew. Put them in and be able to chew a little bit. Put them in and be able to chew a little bit. Put them in and be able to chew a little more. Put them in and be able to eat a piece of toast. A taco. A hot dog. A hamburger. A salad. A chopped salad. Start with a chopped salad. And then move up to a salad. A regular salad. And then... One day you're going to eat corn on the cob. Make corn on the cob. You walk around the block. Anyway, I'm going to let you go. My husband just got home. And this is a really long video. So I'm going to go. Just remember, it's hard. But you got this. Bye.